media also have been carrying the promotion for GTA 6 or at the very least teasing it in some ways with you know Michael Ned Luke over on TikTok saying it's going to be more worth the wait than GTA 5 and Franklin well folks we are just a few more days away from GTA 6 reveal we just a few more days it is happening my brothers it is happening now honestly bro be in an end game right now it doesn't feel real Holy man, holy, it's happening, man. I, I cannot wait to see it. December is coming up, it's about to happen. But what day you guys think they're gonna be dropping the trailer? I wanna know, I personally, if I have to take a guess, I would say teaser on December the 3rd, at least by December the 3rd, right? And then maybe, big maybe, but Game Awards uh, towards the end of that. Uh, but I do believe that the trailer is dead ass gonna happen by December the 10th, okay? Either before or on that day, because otherwise it's not gonna be early December, if you feel what I'm saying. But what if it turns out to be a GTA Mobile trailer? You never know, man. If it turns out to be a GTA Mobile trailer, what you gonna do, man? What you gonna do, man? Let's go for three likes on the video and let's check it out, man being on a private jet with the voice actor for Jason right here opening a briefcase that we couldn't see inside what was in it. Considering their involvement with the promotion so far, it was a shock when they came out on a podcast stating this about their involvement with GTA 6. Nothing. I am officially <laughs> making this announcement. Officially? Franklin Clinton is going to be not in GTA 6. What, what the fuck? What? Wow, dude, what, what is that? What the fuck? <laughs> No! Hey, yo, what the heck? What? Nah, bruh. bruh. Say you swear to God, bro. Come on, man. We all thought you were gonna be coming in with, like, guns blazing, though. We know that they're gonna be nerfing the Lucia Bunda, sadly. And now we're not gonna have Franklin. Now we're not, not gonna have no, They playing. They playing. Oh. And, and I am officially not making that announcement. Oh, I'm making the announcement that. Whoa. I'm not in GTA 6. Nah, not for real, bro. Um... <laughs> I know I fucked y'all up with either. doing that, huh? No, I don't know, bro. To be Wait, honest. so it's still a mystery. Wait, so we don't know? It's still a mystery. I'm just fucking it's with y'all. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? If you what? wanna know. I honestly, here's the thing, okay? This is what I believe. I feel like that they were called in to do like some mocap work, and they seriously do not know like if they are gonna be in the game or not. And also they're surely under NDA. If they were invited out and they done some mocap work, they surely would be under NDA and they wouldn't be able to say if they worked for GK6 or not. Especially like Franklin, he must have done a lot of lines for his DLC that we saw in GK5, right? So I'm sure some of the lines or a lot of the lines didn't make it in the gta 5 dlc and he's like maybe it's gonna be used for gta 6 maybe he wasn't blatantly told that you're gonna be in gta 6 or maybe he was told though and this is why he's kind of like playing uh or he's just simply playing and we and he knows that he's not gonna be in the game but he's simply playing but i also do believe that he, if he's being real for real for real uh, i think it's surely andy he cannot reveal and also he just doesn't even know if he's gonna make the cut or not because obviously the, the GTA 6 is gonna be big on Lucia and also Frank, uh, not Frank, I mean the... I forgot that guy's name, holy shit, dude. Oh shit! I know just about the Lucia though, yo, Jason, Jason, yeah, that's the name, that's the name. So yeah, it's gonna be big on that and knowing Rockstar, um, yeah, they're probably gonna wanna keep it like new, new character, new cast. We're probably gonna see like cameo. I hope we get cameo. I don't wanna see like old characters I just want to see new story, but cameo maybe mission or two maybe even five missions Hey, I'm perfectly fine with that with old if characters. you want to know whether or not anybody from GTA 5 is gonna be in GTA 6 First you have to solve the Mount Chiliad mystery what? There you'll find the answer. Bro, yep. nobody's gonna be able to solve that, bro. I mean, oh, like, shit. come oh, on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Yo, I, well, okay, I don't even know what's the, the Mount Chiliad mystery. Bumbaka! <laughs> I, I didn't play GTA 5 like that, where I was searching for, like, Easter eggs. I heard of it, obviously, but never looked too deep into it. They're both doing an incredible job at promoting the release of GTA 6 by literally shrugging it off as if it's not a big deal when they know information the public don't, which we're literally dying to get. Nice. It's exclusive about GTA 6, and speaking of what we're going to be revealed to in the trailer itself, GTA 6 trailer countdown had a very good post. What to expect in the first GTA 6 trailer next month, based A glimpse of modern Vice City with different 
scenes of the environment, beaches, and nightlife. Introduction of lead character Jason and Luskia. Hopefully, the border is not gonna be nerfed. Logo reveal. A release window date, though. Y'all suckers saying that those suckers really gonna give us the reveal window. Because, quite frankly, I feel like that we're... Da -da 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 -da. Don't wanna jinx it, but I do believe that they're just gonna drop our Rockstar logo and just peace out. They're just gonna bounce. We're gonna see like a 30 second trailer where we're just gonna see a Rockstar logo appear on the screen like doom 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 and that's it. That's it. If we're lucky, we're gonna get like a one minute trailer where we're gonna get the environment maybe uh, with some quotes and lines like why did I move here? I guess it was a Buddha. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why did I move here? I guess it was a Buddha. Maybe that's what they're gonna play. I don't know, man. Based on previous Rockstar reveals, a glimpse of modern Vice City with different scenes of the environment, beaches, and nightlife, introduction of lead characters Jason and Lucia, logo reveal, and a release date slash window. Of course, we know this could get massively delayed like all other Rockstar big production games. Underneath 100%. that post I've just read out though, apparently GTA 6's rumored extreme weather effects, including hurricanes and tornadoes capable of causing large-scale destruction were reportedly scrapped due to tech limitations. Bro, come on, man. Like, Y'all suckers are a billion dollars company. Y'all suckers gonna make more money than God with this game. And y'all suckers are already projecting you're gonna be making 8 billion. And that is in the first year. That is in the first year, though. Think about 2026, Rockstar. Think about 2027, Treyarch, or I should say, uh, Take Two. Think about 2030, think about, think about till 2040. Bruh. Because y'all like, is never gonna have a new GTA game, right? So this game is gonna be your cash cow. You're gonna be milking the titties dry of GTA 6. Think like that, bro. Have tornadoes, bro. You simply just need the wind. You need to turn the wind around. And that's a tornado, Brad. That is a tornado, bro. Come on, man. You're telling me PS5 and Series X is not able to? Like, that's, that's, that's cab, bro. This honestly comes as a surprise, considering as GTA 6 Intel pointed out, GTA 6 and the PS5 Pro are expected to exactly. launch around the same time in late 20. Even PS5 Pro is gonna be launching in 2024. Come on, man, that's that's cap. That's gotta be cap. 24. This would be the perfect opportunity for Rockstar and Sony to produce the biggest console bundle in history. All I'm saying is, with the new version of the PS5 in itself, hopefully it has more storage. Considering I can already just imagine the file size of GTA 6, it's going yeah. to be over 200 <laughs> megabytes. Let's be honest, and that's not. Let's be real, man. If the if we get to see that Bruna the way we saw in the league gameplay, that Bruna alone is gonna be taking 50 plus gigabytes of space. Bruh. 110%. And I think they're gonna nerf it because otherwise the game is gonna be like 200 gigs, guys. It's gonna be 200 gigs. So they're gonna nerf that Bruna. In that aspect, I I'm sad to say, guys. I'm sorry to say, but it's probably getting nerfed, though. Also only based off the attention to detail they're actually paying with this new game on this new generation console, but also don't forget, the GTA 6 map will be 2.5 times larger than the GTA 5 map based off the coordinates mm. discovered in the leak. Another huge thing in terms of size, however, the impact of the, the cap. But I do believe that that map needs to be bigger, otherwise how else Lucia is going to be carrying all that cake? It's going to be a little bit difficult to... You, you feel what I'm saying? She needs a bigger map. She needs it's going to have map. no, not the map, and no, not the file size for the game, is the song, and what do you guys think it will be in the GTA 6 trailer? Of course, in the post by GTA trailer countdown, they included a few examples of artists and songs, but in the follow-up tweet, they also included some that would be massively fit into GTA 6's trailer, being Genesis, that's all, M83 Midnight City, Cabin Sky, Night Call and Coolio Gangsters Paradise. Personally, uh -huh. I want to see Gangsters Paradise all over this, you know, revealing all the cool new graphics and physics of this game on the next generation consoles. And one final question before you guys leave today, considering there's been controversy over the pricing for GTA 6 as it will be adding value. $5 per hour renting situation. Oh, oh, yeah, we heard about Take Two officially saying that they want to have the renting in the game. Renting feature for the game. Now, I surely do believe they're going to be selling the game for 70 bucks, but they might also introduce the renting feature. And hear me out, right? This is going to be terrible for gaming. Terrible for gaming. But hear me out. If they let people play the game or get the game for 60 70 bucks uh and they also have a renting feature the renting feature is going to be good in a way where you know if you're not sure about the game you might want to spend like five bucks to play for one hour and if you like it you buy the game that way but the reason it's going to be terrible is because 
they would know that you suck it. Let's go be renting the game for five hours. So they're gonna make sure the first hour of the game is amazing. It's brilliant, bugs free, completely one of the best. So it's gonna be a little bit misleading is what I'm saying. And if take two goes in this direction, you better believe everybody will be going in that direction. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. But I think overall, if you look at look at it from the the angle that i just uh brought you up in or you know the angle that i shared uh it, it can be a good thing but let's be real like do you really trust these gaming companies i don't but do you let me know your thoughts click on this video on the screen because we had a lot of massive leaks we also had the full map leak as well we've done a full walkthrough of the map click on this video on the screen and i'll see you right there